Veterans from across the Central Coast gathered in Santa Maria today for the third stand-down event this year. KSBY News reporter Delaney White was there and has more about how veterans benefit from events like these. Stand-down events held at the Elks Lodge in Santa Maria give veterans a sense of community and support, but also access to life-saving resources. The Band of Brothers saved my life. I was in a bad, bad very bad way. Uh, I was incarcerated for six days. And uh, Steve Baird, the president of the Band of Brothers, actually pulled me out of jail, and I've been clean and sober ever since. Band of Brothers works to prevent veteran suicide and has a booth at stand down events to get the word out. Get about what these guys coming home from combat, uh, you know, goes on in their head. We, we forget about that and it's very important that, you know, it's brought to be aware of, you know, and the Band of Brothers are there for anybody and everybody. It's just a place to get together, you know, that's all it is, you know. Sometimes you don't see them for a whole month and all of a sudden you see them one time, that's enough. And it's great, you can come here and have a meal. It's just good for us. I wanted to see if I had seen any of my friends that have, you know, and I've, saw, I've seen a couple, about three or four of my friends that were, I hadn't seen in maybe three, four years. So it kind of gets people together. Uh, just sit around and talk about old times. That's about all we got left. But. When I got out of the service, I was a Vietnam veteran, and they treated us terrible. So this is, a, a little bit of help type deal. Veteran Gerald Chase is the founder of Clover Lane Foundation and says he is passionate about supporting veterans, particularly those struggling with homelessness. For Wednesday's event, he donated boxes of shoes to help ensure each veteran has what they need as we head into the winter months. And this is an organization that I respect, I know about. I am allied with them, with our organization. Other organizations say winter clothing is much needed and appreciated. Uh, they're very much needed. We're going to go into the winter months and things of that nature. People need winter gear, cold weather gear. I mean, uh, it's sometimes just to know that people care about them and still thinking about these veterans. But these events aren't just to support veterans. They also provide a sense of community for families of veterans. All of us, we've all paid a price and the ones, the wires have paid. That's what people forget too, the wives of the guys that are over there, you know, they were home. The CEO of Santa Inez Community Outreach says when her son was a veteran in Iraq, being able to connect with veterans made her feel better during a difficult time. When he, when he was in Iraq, the veterans in his community just pretty much saved me. They kept me, um, they kept my, my moods up and you know, when you're so worried and they were someplace to go. We're actually, um, trying to work on the outreach process itself to be able to ensure that the people that need these assistance, the veterans that need this assistance, are actually able to obtain it. They can get help however they need. They get in touch with anyone. Reach out. And then we, want to, we want to try to get that message across to reach out. Reporting in Santa Maria, Delaney White, KSBY News. And the next stand down is set to take place at the Elks Lodge in January. If you would like to volunteer or donate to a veteran stand down event, you can contact the Santa Maria Elks Lodge.